the bus with Gus. I'm Corey. And I'm Alexander. They call me Zach for short. Wow. Never gets old. And we're still sponsored by Palm Olive. 99% antibacterial. So when you get stuck in the shower and cut yourself, you still won't be getting... You won't have to have a tetanus shot. Okay, back to me. Um, this time, we have a lot of requests. Uh, people have sent in tens of messages for us to do this interview with Mr. Jim uh, Jim Pearson. Peter, Peter Pearson. Um, I've known him for a long time. And Jack, we're really happy to have him today. We are. <laughs> we're really happy to have him today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, many, many people have wanted us, wanted us to ask questions about Mr. Jim Pearson if they don't know him. Um, Mr. Jim, you've been, you've been singing in gospel music for, like, forever, as long as I can remember. Um, how many years have you been singing gospel music? I think wow, that's a long time, ain't it, Zach? It's a long time. I, I can't even, if you add your number, age, and Jeremy's age, and uh, Jordan. Jordan, the boy from Tennessee's age, it still wouldn't equal up that many years. He's old. He's old. Don't say that about old people. Okay, well, Jim, you know, growing up as a little boy, um, back when you was a kid, you, you always talked about you grew up real poor. And like your mama uh, had a not a flashlight, but a thing you bow out, and that was kind of lights y'all had. And you had that old bath outhouse back in the back pathway, in the back where you go to the bathroom outside. I think y'all call it an outhouse. I I call it a stink pot. But um, and you said you used to wash in the number three wash tub, right? That. Wow. You know what? I couldn't have done that. Did they make a number nine wash tub? That would be that would be if you took uh, a bunch of number threes and put them together. Yeah, let it be. Make, yeah, what we call it today is a kiddie pool, but back then we called it a number nine wash tub. Okay, boy, why to have had a lot of palm olive back then for a number three wash tub? Anyhow, you know, being my daddy and all, I've I've, I've always looked up to you until I got taller. And um, then I look down, but you know, I've always, you know, it's been a blessing for for you, for me, all these years to look up to somebody, you know, like Jim Hamill. I, he's been one of my biggest heroes and uh, stuff like that. I always enjoyed the Kingsman. That's where I learned how to play all my instruments sometimes and stuff. Well, let me ask you, Jim, what's it like being married to Rita? Well, I tell Lord, you, we all know that. I tell you, sometimes, uh, sometimes you know, on the bus, the doors are not quite solid yeah. enough to where you can hear conversations. And, and if you can just see us sometime up here praying on your behalf, uh, sometimes. sometimes. So uh, let me ask you another question, Jim. Back, back about a few years ago, when you was looking for a bass singer, you found out out the town with Joe Brown. What in your best terms could, could you come up with how you how you describe Joe Brown? What to then, me, well, Joe? let me ask you this way: on this second time around, how can you describe Joe Brown? <laughs> well, to me, me too. Joe. I think he's gotten better <laughs> since he's been off yeah. uh, for his sabbaticals reasons. Um. Well, hold on just a minute. Will y'all turn the teapot down? Uh, I hear it going. Yeah. See I'm it's sound like precious pup in the background. I'm sorry. Um, Alexander, I'm gonna turn it over to you. You don't get to talk a lot, and I want you to ask a question. Well, okay. Um, I think that was a good one. Well, I wanted to ask Brother Jim. Jim, uh, you put on a lot of concerts. Uh, a lot of them started at the Fullerville Baptist oh. Church in Velarica. We had concerts there for many, many years, and it just got to where, uh, at least six years, I guess it was, uh, and it just got to where we just, it was just too, well, the crowd just was too big, and uh, we had to move it, and we moved it to a theater. Jim, let me ask you something. How do you feel about the new place we have concerts? Well, I like it, too, because you know what? 
there's plenty of room for people to spread out and enjoy the cushion chairs and stuff like that. We've had a lot of good concerts down there. And where, uh, where at? down there. Down there where? Down back there. Where? And down there, uh, Bremen. But Milltown. Milltown. Yes. Oh. Now uh, we're going to have one at Mount Holly coming up. Yeah. Mount Holly. It's not really a mountain. Mount. It, Mount Holly. Mount. Mountain. Not mountain. Not mountain holly. Mount. It's not mountain holly? No. Mount. That's why I, when I Googled it, that's why it didn't come up. Yeah. Mount, Mount Holly. Yeah. All right, um, back to Jim, as we like to call him on the bus, Jim. Um, excuse me for a minute. <laughs> Wait, brother, cameraman, will you take the camera just for a minute and go into the audience for a minute? If you don't mind, please be quiet. Okay, back to me. Sorry. Um, but Jim, let me ask you a question. Um, if you had, if you were dying, like I am right now on this bus because the air's still broke, <laughs> and I'm sweating, I'm afraid I'm going to look like a, a melted candle here in just a minute. Um, if, if you were dying, what would be your last, uh, probably, I don't know, meal? I don't think I'd eat that before I died. Good Lord, you'd never digest. Um, let me ask you another question, Brother Jim. Uh, in all your experiences of being on the road and singing gospel music, what's your favorite TV program? Well, I like it. I know you do. I, every time I come over to your house, he's always watching Bonanza or something like that. It's a wonder they didn't call me Hoss. Yeah. Well, they right. did when I was a little boy. Yeah. Man, I got bigger and it's just like... <laughs> Big house. I remember when Mom and Dad used to give me bass when I was a baby in the number nine washed up. They used palm olive, yeah. just like that. Except it come in a different carton. I well, thought. I think it's an update. It does. I used to be bad to eat the bubbles. Um, let me ask you a question, Brother Jim, as we like to call you. Jim. Jim. Somebody don't mind opening up a window real quick. Uh, my glasses are fogging over and I can't tell where I'm looking at the camera but the ceiling. Oh, Jesus, it's hot over here. Woo! Boy, that's my like barbecue. I don't know if that's me or you one, but woo, I'm getting hungry. Uh, let me ask you a question. When, when you started, y'all traveled in a uh, little, like what kind of car was it? It was a, a four door. Four door. four door. It was a four door car. Four door. Yeah. I guess they still make them today. Uh, but anyhow, y'all traveling in the four door car, right? Right. Shine the camera back over there for me real quick. Shine the camera back over here. This would not have fit in a four door car unless we had Olive. 